Hello. So as you know, we've been doing a few lockdown lookbook makeup looks and my friend Tim has requested that I do a half goth, half pinup look. So that is what I'm going to try and create today. I'm super happy because I got these from the shop before. Not very goth at all, but they're flowery cat ears. And the other thing I'm crazy excited about, I've got Harry Potter wand makeup brushes. Only the cutest. So anyway, I will probably put music over the top and speed this up, but it's my first proper solo video and I don't have any of the right stuff around me, so bear with me, it might take a while. So here we go. start with my eyeshadow because it's going to be heavy and I imagine there's going to be a lot of fall down. basics of my eyeshadow. I'll obviously darken it a lot with eyeliner, but that's what I'm doing for my shadow for now. Well, I'm never happy, so I always keep going back to it. from Shannon from Pout. I have got this new eye design concealer. If I can open it. So it's from Revolution and it is Conceal and Define. So for my pin-up side I'm going to use some of this. Thank you Shannon from Pout for the recommendation because this stuff is amazing. side to make my eyes look bigger.
possibly the most important part of a pinup look is the winged liner. I think I might leave that until the end. I'm going to use a mixture of blonde and brunette underbrow. I start by combing the lashes up. Line. I'm going to brush my brows down and get that defined line on the top as well. And for a bit more definition, I'm going to go in with the brunette for the arch. On the pin-up side, I mix my primer on the back of my hand and literally just two drops of this stuff, that's all you need. In fact, I'm only using one drop. And then mix it in with your foundation brush. I've been in the sun, so my freckles have come out. It just gives a really sheer coverage, not too heavy. In fact, you can still see some of my freckles through it. same primer but a slightly lighter heavier foundation So the foundation I'm going to use in this one is Beautifully Matte by number 7 in Cool Vanilla, if I have any left. Okay, so that's a negative. We'll try Lift and Illuminate in Cool Vanilla. thicker coverage. I'm going to go back in with my Kabuki brush. So I've got my contouring palette. quite shiny at the moment and I will powder but first I'm going to do my cream contour on the pin up side. I'm not going to do much contour on the other side because it's not really the style. I tend to just do this with my finger as well and then blend it out, put powder over the top. cream 
pink on top. And then I have a very well used sleek palette and light. Into the fan minutes. How do I am going to use is Perfect Selfie by Wonder 2. That will blend all the contour in and take away the shine. So I'm going to do the other side of my face as well. I should have done this bit first, but I want a bit of a lighter coverage under my eyes. And I am going to go back in with more shadow to blend that out. So on the pin up side, this is a cute little blush I've had for absolutely forever in shade Golden Lilac. So that really blends in the contour as well, brings it all together. And then for highlight, I'm going to be using Illamasqua in shade OMG. And I'm obsessed with these brushes from Peaches and Cream. This is the PC17 and it's perfect for highlight. I'm also going to highlight under my brow. anywhere else that the sun would naturally hit. Forehead. But only on the one side. So now I'm going to... I think I need a bit of contour on the side. But I'm going to go lighter. So I'm going to use the very lightest shade. I want a bit of definition, but it's not an overly contoured look. Just to put a bit of life in my cheekbone. Definitely no blush on this side. shadows.
going to put on a bit of mascara before my lip flashes so that they blend in using Thick and Fast by Soap and Glory. things that you can see. I have to try and fill in around it. Okay, so that's my basic eyebrow. I might fiddle around with it in a little while. I'm going to do my eyeliner off camera because it's too difficult to do, so I'm going to do my lips now. So, on one side, I've got MAC lipsticks in Russian Red and Diva and MAC pencil in Brick. red in the center and using a lip brush I take the darker shade and going in to find the outer corner I will go over and put a bit of gloss over the top but I don't want to ruin the black part. I don't have a black lip liner so I'm just going in with the same eyeliner that I've been using. What they do with a sharpen. Not sure if I'm going to keep this in, but my cat is meowing. She wants to say hello. Say hello, Rogue. <laughs> she doesn't want to say hello. So I am going to finish my eyeliner and my lashes off camera, but this is pretty much my finished look.